1998, uh, the original rink was built. Four years later, the, in 1962, a pool was built next to the was added next to the rink. Uh, when I came back as mayor in 2009, there was a project uh, that was uh, considered by the previous council to rebuild uh, the entire arena. Is there some other way we can build this thing without eating up so much green space? So it occurred to me that maybe if we went underground, it would solve the problem. The concept for the project was to uh, use the site, the natural slopes of the site, to its maximum potential. We basically put the rinks and the highest part of the slope, which allowed us to integrate the green roof as a natural extension of the Westman Park to the north. And uh, it allowed us to also use the, as we went down the slope, to add light where we needed it. By putting it underground, you save a lot of money. You have lots of light. You have access, uh, natural light coming in as well. One of the other things we've done is go to LED lighting, uh, light emitting diodes, which does not create heat, creates terrific light. The temperature is always around 15 degrees Celsius year long. Now, this means it costs you much less, both winter and summer, uh, to freeze the ice. For the heating of the building, we, are, we managed to recuperate the heat that's generated from creating the ice that's in both rinks to meet 95% of the heat load of the building. And we also use that same heat to heat up 80% of the domestic water that's used in the building. In the summer seasons when the pools are open, the, all of the heating uh, that's required for those pools is generated by the heat that's given off when we create the ice for the arenas. So there's many advantages of having a lead project here in Westmount. The citizens have access to a green facility. Uh, there is a lower operating cost. And we work with the city in terms of uh, educational, like guided tours, um, and explanation of the green uh, aspects and innovation strategies that were put uh, in this project. It being a lead project, it was actually a very interesting uh, challenge for us. Uh, we discovered some pretty substantial areas of contaminated soil. We removed 150,000 tons, 150,000 tons of earth. So well, that's one of the disadvantages of going underground because as you remove earth and the earth happens to be contaminated, <laughs> of course it costs you more money to get rid of it. But on the other hand, you are effectively decontaminating uh, something that should have been decontaminated years ago anyway. Every centimeter we dig deeper is a lot of money uh, in terms of uh, in terms of retain, temporary retaining walls, in terms of uh, of the, the the permanent walls too, in terms of excavation, etc. And the challenge was to uh, to dig as little as possible and and optimize the structure. Here we have very long spans because of the the, the arena. It required a lot of long spans, and that's pretty unique in terms of of underground structures. One of the big problems of going underground is the cost of the structure because the pressure of the earth is quite great. A uh, regular building is designed for wind loads, uh, for snow loads. Here, the, the, the earth pressure uh, on top and on the, the, the walls are, are huge compared to a regular structure. The Roxel products we use are a part of the energy saving building envelope to keep the heat within the building. There were two products used. One of them we used on the envelope as insulation behind the brick, wherever we had air spaces that were greater than one inch. We used the rock sole cavity rock, uh, both MD and DD. They're also used to insulate the soffits of the building, the soffits of the zinc roofed garden pavilions, and also the aluminum soffits facing both lands down in the pool. The, and the interiors of the, pro of the project, we used the rock sole AFB, the acoustical fire bat, in partitions that needed either acoustic performance or a fire rating. To have the building below grade is really have more uh, advantage. It preserves the energy inside the building. Also, it gives us the opportunity to uh, connect to bicycle paths and gives uh, more green spaces to, uh, to the citizen. The green roof is indeed uh, accessible to the public. Uh, it's a part of Westmount, part of the green spaces of Westmount. In the winter, it can be used and the, there'll be snow clearing on uh, some of the paths as well to keep it uh, as a way of getting from point A to point B across the park. It's a statement from, from Westmount that say that they believe in green buildings, they believe in the sustainability of, uh, of this development.